Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Ida Bella here. So today we're going to be doing this beautiful look that I did on my sis. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Let go. So first things first, we're going to start off with the eyebrows. One thing that I personally like doing is literally making the eyebrows look really crazy in the beginning, meaning I have enough room to be able to sculpt it out to perfection. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like having your eyebrows looking crazy, but then you go get them arched and it's perfect. So I like with working with a lot of quote unquote brow that I draw on and then make it perfect in the end with the concealer. So I know there was like a, you know, a trend of like baking until the sun comes up the next day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really bake for a, a million years. Um, I just apply it on, work on whatever else I need to work on, then come back to it, then press down and wipe away. I would say less than three minutes, maybe two minutes. If that depends on what I was working on, you know what I'm saying? So it's not really mandatory for me to bake for a long time. That's my favorite part. So one thing I would like to point out is that um, the clips in the video is actually how many times I was doing it. I actually cut a lot out, but I wanted to leave a lot in there to show you that I apply by layer. I never pack anything on at once. So every single time I'd be like mm, a little bit more and then I will go in and add more so that I can get my desired goal. You know what I'm saying? So just um, with contouring, always use a light wrist, a light hand, and you will be fine. It will come out perfect. I know a lot of people are afraid of contouring, but trust me, take your time. Don't rush on it before you look crazy. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah. So the beard, <laughs> I'm gonna call it the beard look. The beard look literally gives you a sharper contour line, your cheekbones. Um, I applied it heavier for hers because I wanted it to be more dramatic. This is not your everyday norm thing, but um, honestly, if you apply it lighter, it will look very, very just natural for my whole natural girls. But y'all see at the end of the video that it would look like it wasn't even there or whatnot, but yeah, the beard look is the go, okay? person that doesn't want to do a cut crease all the time and honestly if you got a good wrist game you know what I'm saying you could draw your little carve real good you can have a cut crease look without actually doing the whole cut crease process so yeah I'm just not the girl that will always do a cut crease but if my clients ask you will receive
here are my Ibella flirty lashes. I do have them available at ibellaco.com on my website. Um, and I'm also going to make another separate video on how to apply false lashes because I get that question so many times. And truthfully, guys, it's so easy. I can't wait to demonstrate it in my video. Video coming soon. So literally, I just place the lash down. I pinch the front. I pinch the middle and the end and repeat. <laughs> it's that simple. But what I'll do in the other video is do it in real time and I'll zoom in so that we can get it. I promise you'll get it after watching my video. Don't worry, I got you. So I'm gonna apply some on her collarbone and on her chest area because we're gonna go outside and I want that face and that body to be glowing, okay? Yes, the look is finished. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't she look so cute? Oh my God. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know what you would like to see next and I am totally game, okay? You hear me? Game.